Hello, everybody. How are you? Welcome in to our Tuesday live cruise talk here with um, Traveling with Team Kerbel. Hopefully you guys are having a great um, Tuesday. And I am so happy to be here with you guys. But not only is the show is not about me today, the show is about we have um, these two great um, creators and um, I've been watching their, 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 their vlogs and their channel. So I would like to present to you guys this evening with not, not only, but Carnival Cruise Addicts. Um, welcome into the Traveling with Tinkerbell show. Nice to have you here today. Thank you for having us. Thank we you. appreciate it. <laughs> it's going to be a great, great time. Um, let me just say quickly hello to everybody that's been here. Um, welcome in Orange Cone Vlogs. Welcome in Ross. Welcome back. Oh my God, you have a lot of information here. Let me see. You repeat after me. Alcohol is good and alcohol is fine, but you won't get a headache with bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Ross, you are amazing. Welcome in and thank you so much for being here in the show today. JNT Adventures, welcome in, guys. Thank you much, so much for coming in. Um, we have Carnival Cruise Addicts in the house. Controversial Cruising, hello, hello. Welcome so in. Danelle, hi, my love. Welcome in, and thank you for so much for your for supporting the channel. Dave Dickens, thank you so much for being here today. Hi. Hey, Otis Lawson, thank you so much for being in the show. <laughs> And then we have Jen Rhodes. Hello, Miss Jen. Welcome in. Uncle Dave is in the house. Um, let me see. Um, Doug and Becky on the move. Welcome in. Welcome in, guys. Um, well, today we have a, an amazing um, creators. They are Carnival Cruise Addicts. And we're going to know a little bit about them. And if you guys, um, as we progress on the show, if you guys have not subscribed, to the channel, I suggest you go over there, subscribe, check all their, their vlogs, like everything, you know, like, share, comment, you do everything that you guys got to do. So, and we have a couple of questions for them. We're going to get to know them today. We're going to have a great time here um, in, in the show. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for accepting my invitation to coming on the show today. It means the world to me to having you guys here. Thank you and for having us. Yeah, that means a lot to us. I'm going to start off because I've been looking at your vlogs and you guys are doing really good. I like your vlogs, especially um, when you guys do the, the yakety thing with John Heal. <laughs> Those are really cool and a lot of information because I, I also follow John Heal um, every every time that he's doing his um, part on Facebook. So it's really cool. It's interesting. The questions that come up <laughs> every so often. I, yeah, I, can, I can tell you that it's, it's a little interesting. But um, and some people, I don't know the questions. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Some of these questions, you kind of like, huh? <laughs> it, it, it's not even the questions; it's the the absolute rudeness of people. Yeah, um, stupidity. Well, yeah, which <laughs> I, I don't know how John does it. We actually seal uh, sailed with John eons ago because we've been sailing Carnival since '99 and uh, 2007. Uh, seven. Uh, he was actually our cruise director, and the dude was freaking. Wow. Still you know, and we, we've been in love ever since, you know, so we were just, you know, talking about something else to do. And you know, we always read all his questions. And like you said, some of the stuff people ask, it's like, really? And then there's some of the stuff it's like, well, hell, I've been on 50 something cruises. I didn't know this, you know, so right. let's, let's share it out, you know, so that that's kind of what that's about, you know, just get the, uh, the good, the bad and the ugly, if you will, out there. Right. And the, his comments are just so great. I enjoy reading. He's so funny. And like yeah. yak is word. So we like we call him the yak. Yeah, right? everything <laughs> was a, a yak from Cleveland, you know. So the first episode you'll see we said the yak from Cleveland. We cut that out because people were like, Oh, you're from Cleveland? No, we're from Florida. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, some of these questions when I look at them on Facebook, I, it just like like when I, when you read the question and then you read the whole information on it and then you read the comments, you'd be like, What? <laughs> Yeah, like the like things it. that sometimes people, I guess, I guess, I don't know if it's when they're typing it, they're upset and they just, you know, it, sometimes it doesn't come across the right way. Sometimes it's more like entitlement. Sometimes you can say, and sometimes you just like, I don't know. I feel like sad for the person because I'm like, really? Like, like, 
there was no need for that. Yeah, today was the perfect example with the, you know, the collapse of the bridge and, you know, unfortunately six people they can't find. And right. everybody is on there. Well, is this going to affect my cruise? Um, oh, how am I going to get to my next cruise? Or this, that, and the other. And John very eloquently, for the most part, put, bite me. I'm not worried about you. I'm not worried about your cruise. Exactly. There's a lot of yeah. yeah, there's other more important things right now to worry about than, to, than a cancel cruise and, and anything in between. You know, those things eventually will get all settled. But what we can okay. never get settled is is recuperate, you know, the people that lost their life today, which is the most important thing. Absolutely. And, you know, the family and, and all of that. So my, I, I even put it on my on my Facebook. I said my heart goes out to Baltimore because it's like, you know, just to see how that bridge collapsed. It looked like Legos. It was crazy. Oh, it crazy. Was unreal. Crazy. And yeah. I think it was due to a a power outage in the in in. And you I think that's what ha- what caused the issue. Yeah, they had multiple outages, but thankfully they issued a May Day. And I don't know if that stopped traffic, but they said if they hadn't issued the May Day that they, they had issues, uh, there would have been a lot larger loss of life. So I don't know right. if they had the ability to stop traffic or, you know, at least slow down traffic, something, but that right. was good. Okay. Well, I have a question. Do you guys only have, have you guys tried any other cruise line other than Carnival? So we have been on two other cruise lines. One was NCL and it was a very small ship. So it was like a three day cruise, but we didn't like it. it. I mean, but most three day cruises, like, I mean, they can be fun, but like, it's hard to judge on a shorter cruise. Um, and then we, we've only other done Bahamas Paradise, which is the old Margarita Villa at sea. And uh, we just, we like carnival. We like the vibe. We like the people. We will branch out, eventually, but we get, we get good deals. We, we go to the casino, we get the deals, and until those deals dries up, dry up, there's no reason to go elsewhere. <laughs> and that was kind of the, the hesitation when we named the uh, the channel Carnival Cruise Addicts because we are, you know. But, I mean, we would definitely like right. to do a different cruise at some point in time. But, but I when mean, we get them for basically free. Yeah. And the, the okay. crew, we've, we've never gone wrong, really, on with the crew on their ship. They're always spectacular. They're fabulous. They're I mean, amazing. we were on multiple cruises where people we hadn't seen in two years. We're oh, walking down the hallway, and Anna Marie goes, "Hey, Chris and Liz," and we're like, Ma- "Marianne or Marianne? I'm sorry, <laughs> Marianne. I can't remember her name. She remembered ours." And she's like, "Oh yeah, I did. Uh, you were in the this room uh, about a year and a half ago on this ship." I'm like, "How do you do that?" You know. So wow. Cool. Well, I will tell you. I will tell you a little secret of mine. Um, I I I used to be a Carnival Cruise addict too. Um, I did one Royal Caribbean back um, 20, I think it was like 20, oh my God, my daughter is 26, so it was 16 years ago, and it was on Enchantment of the Seas, Um, and then after that, I did all Carnival. I did all Carnival until I became travel agent. It was all Carnival. I've been on The Breeze, The Magic, and um, Paradise, Um, oh my God, Um, which one else? Carn- well, obviously, Celebration, Mardi Gras, Fascination. Um, oh, my God. There's another one with the E. It's no longer around. <laughs> I forgot the name. No, is it Ecstasy? Ecstasy. Ecstasy. Yep. I've been on and and I've been to Bermuda on some, of, on some of these. And it was a great time. And then when I became a travel agent, you know, they send you to these different um, ships. And now I am a more of a celebrity person. I love celebrity cruises. It's, it's, I found my home there. Um, but I love Carnival because I still have my group cruise, as you guys know, is on Carnival Celebration. And I love the Excel class. I think that it's, it's amazing what they did with the Excel class. Um, it's just they, I think the venue, some of the venues need to be a little bit bigger. For yeah, the like, like the punchliner. On the Excel class needs to be a little bit bigger so yeah. that people can actually fit, especially when they have really good comedians coming in. Yeah, you I know? mean, my view is any cruise is a good cruise. Like it's really hard mm-hmm. to have a bad cruise, right? Right. And right. they just released the. Uh, they're expecting the fifth Excel class. They released that today as well. So the fourth and fifth unnamed are forthcoming. So 2027 and 2028. So we'll see. Right. And according to what you were saying, um, they're bringing back um, the biscuits and gravies. That's what, That's what John said, and he said it for a long time. I mean, they got Emerald doing the biscuits and gravy. Uh, so I he's, know. He's I was like, man. yeah. I, I can't wait to take it, put it on the plate, and go, bam. You know. I know, right? 
<laughs> well, let oh, me say God. hello to some of some people that have come in. Um, welcome in, M. Thank you so much for being here. Danny, um, the spectacular supporter, thank you so much for being here. Um, Ricky Rocker, thank oh, you so much no. for being here. Micheline's <laughs> little mama, thank you so much for being here as well. Let me see. Hopefully, I didn't miss anybody else. Cruising on the high seas and travel. And travel. Hello, yeah. Rob. Welcome in today. So Hi. I do have some questions for you. So one of my questions is, um, can you tell us about your channel? Sure. I mean, as, as it sounds, you know, we are the Carnival Cruise Addicts. Uh, we love cruising. And Liz, during the pandemic, uh, just got sucked into YouTube and because we couldn't cruise. And we're serial cruisers. So she started watching everybody. And I was like, you know what? We can do this because just watching what they're doing, it's not like, oh, look, no, we can do this. The, they were sharing information, um, whether it be about COVID, about their previous cruises and stuff like that. And we're like, you know, we've been on a lot of cruises. Uh, we love teaching out the information. What better way to do it than to start a channel? And right. uh, so it took a little convincing on her part, the fact that she's actually sitting next to me on these videos. She loves the yakety yaks because she doesn't have to be on camera. I don't like being on camera. <laughs> yeah, and that, that was her biggest hesitation. I did not want to be on camera. I just want to, I like being behind the camera, but he forced me into it and here I am. That's so a, a good look so let me ask you something, Liz. Do you enjoy it when you're in camera now? Do I enjoy it? No. <laughs> <laughs> she oh does. Don't let her fool this you. Is, this is why I have to have liquid courage every time. <laughs> You know, it's it's like me when I first started the YouTube, like the first few, um, it was hard. It was like, oh my God, I'm really, I'm actually doing this. But um, as you know, as you do it more and more and more, it, it comes out like natural. It's like, okay, it is what it is at this point. So <laughs> we're just gonna roll with it. So it's kind of cool, and yeah, and I, mean, I really I, enjoy it. I mean, I'm retail, so I've been in front of people my whole life. So being in front of the camera is not that much different. Um, it is a little weird when you're not actually talking to somebody and you're looking at a camera, but <laughs> I mean, overall it, it, it's fun. We enjoy it, you know, and the, the sharing the information that we've right. learned from cruising and from other people that cruise is, is really what we, what drives us. I think. I mean, and actually, you know, that, that was my thing because, you know, it's, it's easy when people are looking at you because you're giving out the information, but when you're just talking to a camera and there's like nobody here, you like, oh my God, like, what am I going to, but I guess once you, you repetitively do what, what you're doing, it just come natural. You just, I could talk to this camera all day long if they leave me at this point. Well, and, and um, Liz uh, doing what she's doing, um, once COVID hit, they shut down her offices and she's been remote since then. So she's oh. literally nothing but on camera all day. She goes into the office twice a month, maybe. You know, so for her to do that all day and to come back and then do this, I I, I commend her. I, and, I don't and know if I can watching do it that much. The, I feel like we are attached to screens twenty four seven. Right, right. And it's funny because like, you guys are doing a really good job, though. It's really cool, you. you know, and, and and it's really nice. I like your your vlogs and all of that stuff. So you guys are doing you well, Liz. You're doing really good. <laughs> like, like, everybody on here, as Liz says, I'm the face of the channel. This is your editor. This is what makes everything happen is this beautiful lady to my left yeah and there you go <laughs> um i just wanted to ask the people on the comments if you have a question for carnival cruise addicts put it on the comments i do have a lot of questions for them but um if you guys have a specific question that you want to ask them put it on the comments and i'm going to ask you guys since you're here and if you have not subscribed to their channel please go subscribe to their channel give them some love put it on the comments from traveling with Tinkerbell, you know, and they know that you, you were here today. So I I love you guys all to the moon and back. So let's get them, you know, a little bit fur, huh. further than where they are. Uh, my next question for you guys is, um, well, I already know how long you had your channel, but for those that does that, that never seen your channel, how long have you guys had your channel? And what made you create the channel? I know you answer a little bit, you know, because of the pandemic, but, um, Go ahead. So we started July of 2023. Mm -hmm. 
um i think he finally like i think the reason i actually pulled the trigger is because i was allowed to buy a new toy technology i love gadgets <laughs> i got a new laptop i got a new camera i got like you know microphone like, I, I love it and so i'm like well if i can have toys maybe i'll give it a shot <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It, you know, it's worth everything. It's like me when I started my YouTube channel, I had my phone, right? And I think I had a, an iPhone 12 at that point in time. So I went ahead and um, I woke up one day and not a lot of people know this. I woke up one day Sunday before going to church and I've been praying on this YouTube thing for a while. And one day I woke up and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it. And I went on, on Amazon and I got me a GoPro um, Hero 11. And it got here the day before I was supposed to go on Wonder of the Seas. I had mm. no idea how to work the thing. I didn't even know I had to buy an SD card. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> so while we're driving to Port Canaveral, my husband is reading through the whole pamphlet of stuff. And he's like, oh, we got to get an SD card. So we get off at exit 55 from, you know, from um, I, an I-4 from Tampa to Orlando. And there's a Best Buy there by Exit 55. We stopped at Best Buy. We bought the SD card and on our way, we go again. <laughs> so it was, and then I didn't even know that, you know, you needed a professional microphone. So all my, if you see my first blog, a ah, hot ah, mess because yeah. <laughs> I didn't have the right microphone. It was, it was crazy, but you know, we, we pushed through it. <laughs> yeah, so that I, is I my it. story. Yeah, she, she's got a lot of the tech now. And, uh, and the other thing that really, I think, solidified what we were doing is two weeks, week and a half, two weeks after we started the channel, um, we're casino people. And we were on a cruise and we went to the casino meet and greet. And at that point in time, I think we had 30 or 32 subscribers. And as we're walking out of the casino uh, meet and greet, a gentleman taps us. He goes, hey, you guys are Liz and Chris. We're like, you do. Uh, it's like you do the vlogs in front of the bar, right? Or matching <laughs> shirts. And we're like. And by the way, he was in, he's in here. I don't know if he's in here now. Yeah, still, but it's Otis. Otis. Yeah, Otis lost. And it. you know what? It was like awesome being recognized after yeah. like thirty something subscribers. But and then that's when the bug bit us in the ass. It, it really is. <laughs> but now we're friends. And yeah. we love them. We've, we've, we've them been again. on cruise with them afterward. So, you know, it, it, it was. That's great. awesome. That's yeah, awesome. It, well, it we was have really a question cool. from Ross. What are you guys drinking tonight? Oh, gosh. Ross knows by now. He knows what we drink. I got <laughs> rum this evening. It's B B uh, Bacardi Gold, and she has her usual. My usual vodka with uh, ice sparkling water. Well, there you guys have it. Well, yeah. welcome <laughs> in um, Harlan Abraham. Thank you so much Harlan, for being hey. here. Um, solo cruising and more. Thank you so much oh. for being here. Um, also, if you guys want to put your channel, if you're a creator, just hashtag TWT on the comments. And... Um, your and information will come on our side. <laughs> yep. There you guys have it. So I do have another question. Um, what is your favorite video that you have made or produced so far? So it, this is tough because yeah, I was thinking about we're, this. I'm still figuring out what type of videos. We do a lot of tips and tricks and pointers. He does like breaking news. He does not but like my favorite like to compile is in, like the vlogs, like the day you know, embarkation day, which is always the best day, right? You're getting on the ship, you're going to the cruise port, you get to relive that memory as you're putting the content together. So that to me is always going to be my favorite, my favorite one. Yeah. That's and awesome. it, some of the videos are just surprising. Like I think our most successful video, if you will, was we did one on Wi-Fi and it just, just keeps going and going and going. The so Wi-Fi pack. Yeah. Artist, so yeah. some of the things just surprise you. She did a short couple weeks ago and it was our first ever 10,000 views short we're like what the hell just happened here you know so right. I wish we knew what the algorithms are to you know get it out there but again <laughs> we, we we do it because we enjoy it and we love sharing the information and the, right. the community that is this community, this YouTube community is amazing has like I had no idea this community existed and how creators support other creators yep. and like mm -hmm. it's not competitive yeah. we're here to help each other support each right. other and I always get sappy when I start talking about it, but it has been like overwhelmingly like positive for us. Yeah. Like we feel like we're part of it. We want to meet 
everybody. Like, it's just, it's awesome. Yeah. We just right. want to go I don't think that's, that's not answering her question, just so you know. <laughs> um, so, yeah. No, it's not. We go, we go bunny trail. We're here to have a good time. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you watch our videos, you know, we get bunny trails. Like, oh, squirrel. Like, I go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I know. I don't know. Cruising videos, I think, would be the stupid but honest answer. Putting up okay. stuff that we've done. Um, and we've experienced like the next one, well, not the next one, but one we're going to be working on for a very long time is the brewery tour. And we shot like an hour and a half of video and we're like, how the hell do we he thin this down? He to put the whole thing up. I said, nobody's going to sit there and watch an hour and a half. We are little... going to put a warning at the beginning no, of the video. This is it. going to be a 45 minute video. But our, <laughs> it's a waste of time. No, but our, the dude was super cool. He gave you so much information about brewing. It's cool. Take the tour. You got to get them excited enough that they go on the yeah. show. So what if they can't? Well, I'll tell you something. Um, my husband and I, we went on Carnival Carnival Horizon in October. And my husband did that, um, the brewery tour, right? And he, he did a little vlog. And if you go back to that vlog, it's nowhere near to be found because my son forgot to put it in. <laughs> it's like, you hear me say, well, you guys going to see it here. And it never showed up. It was, it was not existed. So we were on the horizon in October. I think it was either before or after you. Okay. And, um, and that's when we met Vlad from the from the Pig and Anchor Brewery. Right. Okay. And, um, and then we saw him again this month on um, the, the celebration. celebration. So it was like, that's again, like you see the crew in different places and they recognize right. you. Like, yeah, he, so he was, awesome. yeah he, he was really cool. He comes out, you know, and they're mixing the batches and he comes out and goes, hey, you guys are back. And I'm like, Holy crap, it's Vlad, you know? And he's like, hey, you got to do the brewery tour this time. And we went through the whole thing. And it was long, but well worth it. It was worth every yeah. penny. Even, even That's if what you my husband do. said. He said it was really good. Um, he really enjoyed the tour. Mm -hmm. So he said it was really, really nice. So for those of you that have never been and you're going to go back onto a carnival, as long as you go to, what is it, Horizon, Panorama, Vista, Excel um, class. Yeah, class. the Excel class. the Excel class, they do have where you can actually take the tour. And I, I think it was like what, like thirty something dollars? It's thirty dollars, but if you have the cheers package or drinks on us, um, it's twenty five percent off. Yep. Okay, so and there you guys have it. The the amount of beer you get, like they give you a flight of, I think it was six <laughs> different types of beer, four beers or four, but they bring out pitchers and they just keep filling them. Then he's like, "Ooh, I made a special batch today. This one I made it, and they just keep bringing out beer. We're like, uh oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what my husband said. That he he really enjoyed it. He said it's really good for the amount of money you pay. He said it was really good, and then you get a certificate and a cup afterwards. So it was yeah, really yeah. nice. I, I still want. She won't live. I want to put the certificate on the wall, but Liz won't live. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a question for you guys. Do you guys do premieres on your channel? So we have not yet done a premiere, nope. and I think part of it is because. Like if people are gonna come and see you, I want the quality to be like really high, and I haven't felt that I've had that high of a quality video that I want. Like I don't know, maybe I'm just being silly with that. Um, but I watch a lot of premieres. <laughs> that, that we do. That we do. <laughs> well, I do all my Thursdays. I do it as a premiere. Mm. And I never thought about that, to be honest with you, Liz. <laughs> but I've always done it as a premiere because I figure it lets the people know. And then what I like is that I could be on the background watching it as it's as it's going through. And then I, if anybody comes in, I can answer whatever questions. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of like doing a live, but not being live at the you same see, time. Like usually there. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I probably will. Maybe. <laughs> <We'll figure. laughs> I know that um, I think it's Cruz Nuts whenever he does a premiere, which is I always laugh every time I see his premiere because he puts um, I might not be available when you're watching <laughs> and I think that's that's funny just to see that. Well, I was in a premiere earlier today and the, and the channel wasn't in there and I'm like, well, you know, I could just watch this at my leisure versus having to be at a set time. Right. So like, I think if we're going to do it, you should show up. Yeah. you. Do, I mean, if you're going to do a premiere, you have to be there to do the comments. Right. So I have my next question to you guys is, have you guys set any goals for your channel? I mean, at this point, we're just trying to, so we did reach partial monetization like two weeks ago. Right. So we're at 3,000, uh, 
Um, watch hour so we can get the 200 and something yeah, so we, we want to get to 4000 and obviously the 1000 magic number so like that's our goal but as far as like beyond that like no cuz we didn't start this to get day at a time yeah we yeah. we didn't start this for money we started it for fun and we actually are really passionate about it right. and share the info. We, we've got the benefit now that like we are growing which is awesome and yes we want to continue but i'm not going to be like i need it by x or x or right. x right. because i also don't want it to be so much pressure that it feels like a job right because if it feels like a job then i'm not going to want to then it is a job because yeah. you're getting like, this paid is supposed to, do to be it. a passion right. right right and we are passionate um but it's also a lot of work so you gotta you know i don't want to feel like oh my god if i don't have a video to post like i gotta like stay up all night and get something done you know i just i don't want that right and I, and I agree with you there. Like um, the way I do my channel um, is like I just put what I can out there um, because I do have my travel agent and that uses a lot yeah. of my time. And I have Tuesday show. I have a show on Wednesday and every so often I have a, also a show on Sunday with Cheryl from Cruising is Fun anytime on Sundays. And we haven't done one in a little bit, but we do have some shows on there. And um, I'm like you, I just let it run and do its thing. And if it gets somewhere, it gets somewhere. And if it's not, I'm still having a good time no matter what. <laughs> so yeah. I just yeah. enjoy doing it. I, I love, you know, cruising and, and you know, you bring that, the, you know, that the content to, to the public so that they can see something that they, like right now, when I went on Celebrity Beyond, I did a live stream. And a lot of people, when they look at celebrity, <clears throat> They, they think of this cruise ship that is very expensive, you know, like I can never be on a celebrity cruise. And that's not true because you can actually go on celebrity for a really good price. Sometimes you could go on celebrity for the price of what you pay on a carnival cruise line, like Celebration or Mardi Gras, to be honest with you. And I will never forget, I was doing a live stream and I was going through the buffet area. And I think Muncie Channel, I think she was the one who asked the question. I could be wrong. Um, that she couldn't believe how nice the buffet was. Mm. And one of the things when it comes to carnival itself, because I, I used to love going on a carnival cruise, but one of the things of, that I don't like about carnival is the fact that their buffet has been repetitive in every station. And it never used to be that way because I, I've been cruising carnival for many, many years. And you could have every station was a different, and you guys know this because you guys, you know, cruise a lot of carnival. Every station used to have a different types of food. And now it's like every station is the same. Yeah. So how do you guys feel about that? Not, yeah. it, it depends on the ship. On, on the Excel class ships, uh, what a lot of people don't know is there's two to three banks. And a lot of people mm -hmm. go to the first one and go, oh, that, that's nothing I like. If you go down the hall to the next one, it's normally distinctly different from the first one. You know, um, on the smaller on the ship. ships, yeah, on the smaller ships, absolutely. It's the it's kind of the same thing over and over, um, but they do change it nightly. And I will say the quality of food has maintained. I can't say it's gotten worse. I can't say it's gotten better, but the selection, I think, could be a little bit different. That's why we were talking earlier, just getting the biscuits and gravy into the breakfast. You know, that's something different. Well, you know? I mean, let's right. be serious. Looking at us, like we're not picky eaters, nah. really. So, like at the end of the day, <laughs> if it gonna, doesn't eat me, I'm gonna eat. If it. I don't like it, I'll just go for pizza and be done with it. So it's fine. <laughs> well, I think the good thing about the Excel class mainly is that when when you're traveling on an Excel class ship, you have more variety of foods. Yeah. yeah. Um, versus like you know Horizon and then all the other cruises from there on. Um, because Excel provides you with like the little food truck area outside by the pool. It has the taco wow. area, you know, it has so many places for you to have, whether lunch, breakfast, whatever it is that you're having versus the other, um, you know, the other cruise lines, cruise cruises that they have. So it's just like one of those things, like when you look at it, it's like, what happened? Because everything happened after the pandemic. Like I, I questioned myself and, you know, I, um, when I, um, I was on celebration, I'm sorry, I was on horizon and John Hill was there. And if I would have actually met him, that was, that was going to be one of the questions that I would like to, for him to answer, like whatever happened that they changed all of that because Royal has never changed that. New region never changed it. Neither, mm -hmm. you know, Everybody has their, their full buffet except for carnival. Even the, the bacon is like one day you have it and the next day you don't. 
Yeah. So it's called a ba- yeah, it's called a vacation. Vacation. I mean, <laughs> and, I mean, and honestly, as much as we love Carnival, they are the most cost conscious and most affordable for everybody. Mm-hmm. So in order to do that, you have to make some cuts. You know, like yeah. we were pissed when we were on there and we couldn't get all the little different ingredients for the omelets. Oh, the omelet gate. It, it was omelet, omelet gate. And, and that was the literally the one time I actually posted on John Hill's page uh, with a question, what's up with the omelets, you know? And the end game is it's a little bit of cost savings. It's a lot of speed, you know? So if you've been okay. in an omelet line, it takes forever because people are sitting there with 10 ingredients going... Let me get no, not mushrooms. I want no, not I want, yeah, yeah. Now they have but three you know choices. I, but I, I personally like. I want spinach in my omelet. I want different options. They I don't want vegetables away. in my omelet. I'm just saying, like to me, that that is one cutback or whatever you want to call it that I disagree with. Yeah, it, it's streamlined, but ultimately it's cutbacks. But that's how they have to keep right. it most affordable. I mean, if you go to Walmart versus for us, it's Publix or something like that. You know, you're gonna see different products at different price points. Because that's where you're shopping, you know. So it, it's kind of the thing that I mean. Again, we've got fifty some carnival cruises, and it pisses us off to see some of the things they do. Like we used to get two uh, room stewards a day cleanings, you know. Now right. It's so that's yeah. a little bit of a cutback, a little bit of a lot of waste too. Think about all the time and money they're wasting cleaning that room twice. Do we need it? I don't make my bed at the damn house. I don't need it made twice a day. You know? <laughs> So while it was nice, you know, uh, yeah. And then so. you got all the oh, you got all the um, the towel animals. If you if you add that up onto yeah. it, yeah, we love the towel animals. By the way, <laughs> you can see I, I, it's really small under here, but she has three D printed uh, towel animal earrings. Oh my god, I do have one of those. That's from um, Todd, right? Todd, yeah, yes. Yep. <laughs> They're so yeah, cool. Yeah, I won them in. Um, the raffle during helping hands for cruising so i was so oh, excited. that is cool that is so cool yeah um i met todd and his wife on the mardi gras um we were we went on a group cruise like i'm gonna say two years ago and we met at the um oh my god the um what is that that um we were staying at the at the hotel by the port of port canaveral oh my god i forgot the hotel name it's right there by the port and I met him and his wife, great people. And he gifted me a keychain with um, a towel animal of the elephant, which that keychain has been, it is in my vehicle. I have it hanging on my, on, on my vehicle. And, and not so long ago, he sent me earrings. Um, he sent me a little box with earrings for, for my daughter because she collects them and a little turtle so it was really cool to to get a little package from him it was very nice yeah i told her if i want a tech gadget it's going to be a 3d printer (laughs) no he does i don't know if you guys have um follow him on facebook but he does a lot of really cool stuff um with his 3d printer he has a whole set of like mario um mushrooms and different things it's really cool so he does a lot of cool stuff here's the thing why you're not getting a 3d printer <laughs> because leaving. who do you think is going to end up doing all the work and figuring out how to do it and put it together? <laughs> well, I'll print it. You can figure it out. Here, you're going to hit the button and that's it. And I'll have to do everything else. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have um, I have one last question for you guys and then we'll open it to everybody else. Um, so, are you guys on social media? You know, um, wh- how, how do we locate you guys besides YouTube? Okay. I will default <laughs> and go get a drink. No. Um, I, so we do have an Instagram, Carnival Cruise Addicts. We have a TikTok, Carnival Cruise Addicts. Um, we have a Facebook group and page, Carnival Cruise Addicts. So it's it's pretty consistent. Um, I tend to spend more time on YouTube, but the Facebook group we're trying to build um, just to try to get more engagement and more people in there. So please feel free to join. There you guys have it. So check them out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Make sure you guys go subscribe to their channel. You know, check them out. Look at all the vlogs, like, comment, everything you can. Um, For Mr. Harlan Abraham, I will give you some information in a little bit. Um, We will be having some information. Um, But I want to take this time because since we're talking about carnival, 
You know, Carnival yesterday put out some great information, guys. And um, I just want you guys to see this. It's a minute and, and a minute and change, but it's really cool information. So for those of you that are thinking of going on Carnival, um, hey, they're having a new island, guys. And it's, this island looks really cool. So let's check it out real quick. amazing it makes you want to just get on a cruise and just hop over there <laughs> yeah we are we are going i think three times in a four times in a row no we go, we go a back to back we don't really do three and four days but we did for the summer yep. to do a back to back three and four day two celebration key in july yeah that is so cool i still haven't um i'm gonna have to check and see about this celebration key because i don't have the only one that I have planned for Carnival is Carnival Celebration, which is my group cruise. Mm. Um, but I, I, you know, as vloggers, you know, we got to go check it out. We got to vlog it and we got to bring the content out. So I might be, be just hopping on on one of those cruises just to get over there. Come when on, I watched this, yeah. this video on. yesterday, I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah, and don't don't uh, per, uh, forget to put your group uh, group cruise in the chat so everybody can see it because like, a lot of people are asking about that. Yeah, I'm gonna put um I'm gonna give you guys real quick um we'll get this out of the way since you guys are asking about my group cruise. Here it is. Here's the information on my group cruise. Good evening, everyone. We've got a very special announcement to make today. From Sunday, April 20th to Sunday, April 27th of 2025, we'll be hosting our first ever Traveling with Tinkerbell group cruise on none other than the Carnival Celebration. The itinerary is simple. We'll be departing from the Port of Miami in Florida on the 20th. Our first day will be a simple day at sea where you can explore the boat and check out what's on board. Try some of the food at the buffet, or grab a Guy Fieri burger by the pool and relax. Following that, we'll be stopping at Amber Cove in Dominican Republic, then San Juan in Puerto Rico, and lastly St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands before two more sea days to take us back to port. If you're interested in joining us, you can book now at jagonzalez at expediacruises.com. The phone number is 813-608-2935, and the website link will be in the description below. We hope to see you on board when the time comes. Well, there you all have it. So Very this cool. is going to be our group cruise, and it's going to be leaving on April 20th of 2025 on the Carnival Celebration, and we're going to have a blast. Unfortunately, we're not going to Celebration Key, but um, <laughs> hey, well, we're going to San Juan, four, Puerto Rico. <laughs> it, it is 420, so you might have a little bit of extra marijuana on the boat. I'm oh, Lord, you know. <laughs> You know, let me tell you something. When when I did that date, one of my daughters says, really, mom, you couldn't pick another date? And I'm like, what are you talking about? They're going to have extra dogs out mm -hmm. checking your bags. <laughs> <laughs> 
but but yeah so if you guys are interested in joining the traveling with tinkerbell group um give me a call at 813-608-2935 and i'll be more than happy to get you a cabin there and we can all have a great time um and you know it's it's nothing better than than having a group and bringing the community together and instead you know you you talk to everybody on the community through a live stream but when you guys meet together it's just a different type of bond and it's just so amazing i've seen it so many times in different um group cruises that i have been and i love it and that's one of the reasons why i, I did the traveling with tinkerbell group cruise so hopefully Maybe one day in the future, Carnival Cruise Addicts will do their own group and yeah. we'll be joining oh, yeah. them, supporting them out there as well. <laughs> I'm retail, so depending on the sales schedule, this, that, and the other, I got, uh, limited time that I, I can take. And But I, I, I can agree. We were on a cruise with uh, Cruise Life TV, which wasn't planned. Uh, we just happened okay. to be on the same cruise. And it was, it, awesome. it was really cool to sit down and actually talk with another content creator, not on camera, face to face. Uh, we did and, an and impromptu they're just live. Good yeah, just good. They're everybody's people. like that, that's where this came from because Liz always uh, does this, you know, and Michelle <laughs> sent her that. We're like, oh my god, you know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, um, um, Harlem says I'm not a big fan of leaving and returning to Miami. Just keep an eye because I'll be doing other groups down the road. It's not just going to be this one. This is the first one. I'm hoping to do one every year. So every year is going to be something completely different. <laughs> so let me see. Um, Ross is saying um, an excuse will, any excuse will do. <laughs> Come on. Come on. That's Sean. Yeah, he's, he's like, yeah. <laughs> but I, I just got to say thank you to Marjorie. Uh, I do believe her. She just gave us our first, first ever live super show. Thank you so much, Marjorie. We greatly appreciate that. that is well, amazing. there you guys have it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marjorie. You're you're amazing. We really appreciate it. Uh, so you cool. want to see the itinerary? Here's the itinerary so you can write it down. Hold on, guys. There it is. That's the itinerary for this cruise. I mean, those are all great ports. We St. Thomas is probably one of mm -hmm. our favorite ports. Yep, we actually literally just did this one. Back yeah, to, we have, not back to back, but uh, two months, two and a half months apart. <laughs> right. So there you go. There you have all the ports. Um, one of the good things, um, for those of you that are maybe traveling to Haiti on Royal Caribbean, I, I just got an email today that um that they actually moved those ships around. So some people are going to the Bahamas. And other people are going to Puerto Plata instead of going to Haiti. So they're not just going to be a seed there. They're going to—they're actually moving, you know, those itineraries so that they can have a, a, another stop because of the situation. Yeah. And yeah. Thomas is the only good poor, he says. <laughs> <laughs> I know PR. PR is pretty good. Uh, I do like Puerto Rico. Been there tons of times. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, um, controversial <laughs> cruising for another we got chat. And we got also um, cruising on the high seas as well and travel. Thank you so much for you guys for supporting them today. This is what this is the part that I enjoy most when I bring somebody on, you know, the love of the community. So this is what, what I enjoy. This is what I love doing every day. <laughs> well, they're great people absolutely great people and we so, really it's so hey cool. you know you you gotta you know this is one thing I, you know I, and i am i agree with liz when she was saying about the community and how because when i came into this i never knew how how much love is out there and how much support yeah, and yeah. unless you're doing it you don't understand the love and support from all the people out there that you never thought that this even existed to be honest and it's yeah. really cool to to be in a position where you don't feel alone in in the YouTube world, you know, because you have so many people that love you and 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 are trying to be there for you guys. Yeah, I mean, so many people have reached out to us, you know, unsolicited, and said, "Hey, you guys are new. I've been doing this for a while. You know, let, let can can I help you?" And we're like, "Oh, hell yeah!" You know, mm -hmm. and we hope to get to that level one day, much like you're doing, reaching out to us with the amount of subscribers yeah. you have and we have. Yeah. You know, we, we just, greatly appreciate it. And uh, I, it, well, it's a wicked good community. And I'll remember, like, we were early and then, like, Jeremy from JNS, you know, mm -hmm. you know, cruising on the high school. 
or cruising on the high, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> you know, he reached out, he helped us set up Nightbot, he helped us, like, you know, give yep. us tips. I mean, that's the thing. Late at night, you know, no, uh, no and obligation. everyone's like, you're going to cry again. Yes, I know. <laughs> I, this, this community, um, it's just, it's wonderful. It it's is. Wonderful. It's very nice. Cause I remember when I first started Eddie from Eddie Lugo studios, um, I reached out to him because we've been friends for a while on online, you know, and it's so funny because I've never met Eddie, but I feel like that relationship with him and Alice and, um, cruising with Keith, you know, I actually met cruising with Keith. He came here and we had a great, um, dinner and I met his wife and it was amazing. And when, I, I, I'll be honest. I am looking forward to the Boost Cruise 2.0 that he's doing oh, no, because no. I'm going to get to meet a whole lot of them, especially Scott from the Mustard Drill and Jer well, I met Jeremy and Miss Cheryl in San Juan, Puerto Rico. But it's, it's, it's amazing when you have when you feel the love of the community when you're brand new and you're like trying to figure out how to do this. You know, how, how do I go about doing this? And, you know, you have all these helping hands and, and the love that you feel is is truly a blessing and it's amazing and and i love each and every one of you guys for that because it, without it, it them is. we wouldn't be here <laughs> I, it, you would think you know because there is potentially the monetary value of it that people will get uh shippy because i can't say mm -hmm. the other word um and you know be very combative and very competitive, competitive and, is, and yeah. it, 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 they're not you know it, it's just like that right. I, i've told liz a couple times because she gets way more pto than i do go on one of these cruises. We've never been on a cruise without each other, uh, but I'm encouraging her to go on one because it's just uh, good yeah. for her and me, obviously. But Right. <laughs> no, but I, I do agree with you guys because it's like, um, like right now I was, because my goal is to bring at least once a month somebody into the channel. And um, I've been reaching out to a lot of people to a lot of people and I've been getting a lot of feedback, you know, some of them, they can do it for, you know, because they're traveling or different situations. And I understand that, but you know, eventually you're going to see the channel every month, like next week. Um, my guest next week was supposed to be here um, in January and mm. situations happened. He couldn't. So he's going to be here on April fool's day. <laughs> so it's going to be, and it's, and it's a different type of show because it's going to be on a Monday instead of on a Tuesday because I have to accommodate, you know, his time and, and be understanding of that. So next week, if you guys want to come back, we have cruising with JT. Some of you might know him. Some of you might not. Um, he is one of the guys that has been following icon of the sea since before icon of the sea was birth um, somewhere out there in Italy. So he did the whole follow-up from the moment that they announced that ship to the moment he got on the ship. And I think if I'm not mistaken, he has about 60 plus vlogs of just icon of the seas. Crazy. So, well, I mean, it's that's a big the ship, first thing I can imagine. Yeah, it, 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 it's <laughs> yeah. a pretty ship. It looks like massive. I looked at the just the pictures. I'm like, oh, my God. You know, yeah. and 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 that's one. Of, that's the reason why I wanted to bring him as soon as he got off the ship so we could get all that information. But it's OK. Things happen. So, you know. We move on. We reschedule. So he's going to be here next um, Monday. So it's going to be a great um, show, you know, bringing him in and, and having his experience, you know, and telling us how all of that happened. So um, let me see. Um, I'm not sure. How about now? I'm not sure what he's she's trying to say. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> the, the, those were the fine folks we were on the cruise with. I just <laughs> Like blocks comments every now and then yep. for whatever reason I'll be like, ah, and i'll be saying something and then like nobody yeah. you know she'll do like 10 lives in a night and be chatting to hell and then all of a sudden <laughs> they just don't like, pop up nope, you're yeah. done you kind of cut her off. Cut her off. Off. so six says i was on icon with jt great guy and a beautiful family yes he really is he's a great human being amazing family he has he has a little girl too so if you guys want to see him next week, um, come on in on Monday and he will be here with us. You know, God permitting, everything goes good from here to Monday. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, no different than how we're having a great time right now. This is, you know, just to make sure that put you out there, make sure that everybody gets to know you, people from our channel and everybody else's channel that are here. Uh, make sure that everybody let the, let everybody know, let the world know that Carnival Cruise Addicts is a new channel. 
and we're here to to be there for everybody, you know. Absolutely. And um, I hope, I hope that you guys got new subscribers from us here today. And I know there's going to be plenty yeah. more to come because we're going to be doing this. And eventually, who knows? One day we might meet on a, one of these carnival crews. I'm gonna have to check with you guys. Maybe I want to go on one of those carnival so I could go on that celebration key. Do you do you shipmate? The app shipmate. Yes, I do. Um, yeah. If you're gonna look at me on shipmate, is Tinker zero eight? Yeah, we are carnival addicts. I think we had a short or two. Oh my God, you know the name? I'm really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. Carnival addicts. Yeah. Um, carnival to addicts. To answer your your question, Cruise Life TV. I am located in the Tampa in Tampa, Florida. I am about exactly about between fifteen and twenty minutes, depending on traffic, from the port of Tampa. Nice. Yeah, we'll I am move. right next to, if you guys know Ship Life, the Ship Life. Oh, yeah. Um, I live about 15 minutes away from him. And he's I mean, a great I, individual. I love the Ship Life, but he's always like, what in the carnival? What in the carnival? And I'm like, you know what? I'm but let me tell you something, Liz. That alone, everybody loves it. That's the reason why he says it, because people love when he's like, what in the carnival is going on here? Well, yeah, he, he likes carnival anyway, so he just says yeah. it. I know. Hey, you, you got to have that little catchphrase or something, you know. To it's get like me. Work. Everybody loves when I, at the end of my show, I say toodles. Everybody loves that, so that's something that, <laughs> and let me tell you, um, these shirts are coming soon because I were preparing shirts for traveling with Tinkerbell. And one of them, and this is going to be, it's going to have the TWT crew on the front, and then it's going to have Toodles on the back. Nice. So that's one of the cool shirts that we're trying to um, do. Um, I'm working with my girls here at my home, and we're trying to get at least five different types of shirts. So that's coming up um, soon. So stay tuned so you're, for that. You're coming up on your mon uh, monetization uh, with your watch hour, so you got to get a spread shop set up. So you I know, can put right? Your merch on there. So. Yeah, we just did one. Yeah, I mean, we just got ours not, posted. Not that we uh, had anybody buying our no, t-shirts, no, but, but it's up there. <laughs> hey, up there. you but never know. You'd be it, surprised. It work and it takes some time. So, like when we did it, uh, we're like, "Oh, cool, we can do it." And then uh, YouTube's like, "No, you have to hit three thousand watch hours." I think it was. And then yep. once we're like, "Hey, we hit three thousand watch hours," they're like, "No, now we have to approve everything." So mm -hmm. definitely get it done ahead of time. So when the time comes that you can right. do it, um, it posts. because it's, it's ready, right? It's ready to do. Right? Two well, weeks. Yeah, about two weeks. No, it did not take two weeks. What? How long did it take? For it to post? It was like three days. <laughs> I am grossly misinformed. <laughs> All right. Any technical questions, please refer to Liz. <laughs> I know, right? But yeah, I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get everything situated so when that day comes, everything is ready to just roll it out. I know because a lot, I've, I got a lot of messages like from people like, when are you going to put some merch? And I said, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> well, anybody that's watching us, it, obviously, you know Tinkerbell. But start watching the playlist so we can get those watch hours for her as yes. well. Yes, and and guys, if you since they already got their merch up, if you guys want to grab one of their shirts, you know, go at it, go over there and and check all of that stuff out. It happens to be to be booking a Carnival Paradise out of Tampa, September twenty twenty five. It will be my platinum cruise. Mm -hmm. hey! That's, that's Ty Ty Dave. No, no, that's not Uncle Dave. Huh? Oh, and now it's I Uncle mean, Dave. Never mind. That's Dave. Story Dave. <laughs> Dave. Too many Daves. I no, have two Daves that work he's, with me. He's the one. He's uh, Thank you for your service, a military vet. But he, we booked that cruise so that he would book it. So yep. he better book it. Like, <laughs> you, book it, Dave? you don't book in September. We, we changed our month we changed so it you can cruise you. with us. So you, and we can cruise with you. Yeah. Oh, so, look. Um, cruising with Keys is saying something something weren't approved for some reason so i uploaded two stores that, yeah, that, that happened to uh i was helping nancy with the scratcher i don't know if you know, know her but she great channel by the way she's um, <laughs> great but i helped her set up her spread shop and she got denied a couple things so we just added yeah. items and same with yeah. us we, we put up like i think 15 things and then it said eight were approved nine were approved 11 were approved no it has to, they have to make sure you're not selling anything inappropriate right. that goes against right them. right that's well, all makes sense yeah, yeah. So. I tell you, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm one day cruising and I see one of my shirts out there. Oh my <laughs> I don't God. Know what I'm I'm gonna flip the hell out. 
<laughs> but we did our, our uh, Friday night. We have our, our trivia. Okay. The match game. Yeah, the match game. And uh, so we have with, the, with Cruise Life TV and Controversy. I saw that. Yes. I saw that. <laughs> so when that everybody held up their mugs, we were like, holy crap. You know? <laughs> it was so cool. That was yeah. a lot of fun. I watched that. That was really cool. I really liked that. It was really yeah. cool. And I'm like, really oh, this is really nice. I love the whiteboard. He loves his whiteboard. I know Danny D was asking about where the whiteboard is, and I love my props, but Liz will yell at me if I get up in the middle of a live and go grab a prop. Yes. So, <laughs> oh, go ahead. I'm looking go around if one's close, but I don't have one close. Do you have it anywhere I near? I know you're in here. You're tumbling. Go around. ahead. Go get yes. it. No. I'm no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Liz, you'll be all right. <laughs> you'll be it's not that. The lamp. Do the lamp. Oh, oh, the They're lamp. They're asking for the lamp. Oh, the lamp. I'm sorry. sorry. I thought it was a whiteboard. Jesus. Oh, my God. We got lamp, lamp, lamp. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it says you should get, um, well, wait, to, to which one? To that group? To that? Oh, my God. That is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's just our regular household lamp. And we did the um, Helping Hands for Cruising, which is a great charity. Um, and we were all asked to participate, which was great. And, you know, give away something so people can get stuff and i'm like i'm looking around I'm like i got a lamp <laughs> yeah, and, yeah and so i put a stick around there i'm like look it's an official cca lamp so this is kind of my thing and all right it, put it away put it away but it reminds me of pixar that okay, lamp that lamp is so knows. cute it's so cute <laughs> you are that is really cool though stop it <laughs> all right that is really cool <laughs> Let me tell you, people, people, people love that. It's, it is so cool. Look, Danny, that the spectacular says the lamp. Yeah, well, she's not helping either. She's instigating. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hey, this is what the community is there for. <laughs> Encouragement. Being, Encouragement. Yeah, and being very immature is helpful, and that's me. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Controversial cruising. It says, don't, don't get Chris started. Uh, just start it. <laughs> It says, don't get Chris start going with the lamp. Oh, my God. You're making me cry over here. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so cool. Hey, as long as you put CCA and everything, hey, it's marketing. <laughs> it, it boils down to the whole thing. And, and, like, the first live we did, we didn't know what the hell we were doing. We had a good time. You know, and we're learning. But the end game is it's just about having fun on it. You know, like, right. being here with you is just a great time. You know, your fans, our fans, everybody just likes doing this. Fans? And, I mean, I don't think they're fans. Well, they're subscribers. <laughs> okay. I, I like, subscribers sounds weird. I don't know. The uh -oh, no, no. the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ricky Rock. That, that, that's Sean. He is the founder of the uh, Helping Hands for Cruising, which is a yeah, <laughs> HHC for 501 Yeah. No, no. The, the, oh, HH4C. HH4C. Yes. Okay. Great. We can great, all great. use the lamp to make us brighter. There you have it. <laughs> no, no. That, that won't. That, I mean, I turn the light on, I'll be brighter, but I won't be brighter. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying? Definitely <laughs> oh. collectible. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is the, this is one of the best parts when you're doing these lives. You never know what you get, what's going to happen. <laughs> you never know, um, like, especially with him. And, and yeah. the well, just, I can't always, believe it. We're almost done here. Yeah, like, Liz the hour is like, has what are just today. I'm like cruising. You know, we we go to the chats and everybody's commenting. Everybody's having a good time, and we feed off that, and it, it just makes it you know so much more fun <laughs> to me. That is I, I mean, I just you know what? It's the interaction too with everybody in the chat, like people like genuinely, like, I don't know. I just, I feel I'm going to get all sappy again. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Never mind. I was so, just going to say, I really like this community. Yeah. We're, we're on a lot of uh, other people's <laughs> lives, you know, and everybody, when you start commenting, you know, everybody likes reading them, hearing about them, seeing them on screen. So I know when, uh, when she was doing this and long before we started our channel, you know, we would, post under her name and somebody would comment on her chat. We're like, oh, look, your chat's on screen. It's like so freaking cool. You know, and now that we're doing this, uh, not for a living, but we've been doing it for six, eight months. 
when our name comes up and somebody mentions us, it's still like a giddy little child. You know, it's like, oh, look, 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 I got pushed it. You know? <laughs> so cool. It's I, That's what I'm saying. It's, it's going to feel weird, like, um, one day in the future, whenever that day comes, like, to see your merchandise uh, someplace else. It's like, what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. <laughs> Let me ask you a quick, um, a quick last question because I know you guys cruise and stuff. Do you guys do live while you're cruising or you don't? So last cruise was the first time we did that. We actually did two lot, three, three lives, three lives. No, second cruise. The first cruise was with Cruise Life. Oh yeah, Cruise Life too. We did yep. it with them in okay. December. And that was a random live outside Pig and Anchor, but that was all, we were all drinking. It, it, so it was a drunken mess. It was right? a drunken <laughs> live. Um, I mean, me, me and Greg kept like leaving to go get us drinks and the yeah, girls me, drinks. Me and Michelle were sitting there like whatever. And I'm like, I'm just gonna keep drinking. And you had your warm beer there. Right. And I'm just like, hey, <laughs> um, but this last cruise we went live at Sail Away in Miami, which I think I mean I think we all love watching a good Sail Away. Oh god, like, yeah. that's so much fun. Um, and then we went live in St. Thomas, although our internet was really spotty. Yeah, they crapped out. And then I think we had like a scheduled, did we have a scheduled live? Yes, with Izzy. Yeah, with Izzy. And um, and that was fun too. I mean, it's just, I think I personally try to go on all the lives where people are live on the ship because I it just makes it. me want to be there with them. Yep. Right. I absolutely love it. I mean, if we're not there and seeing somebody like, uh, uh, Warm Strong Adventures did one from Hawaii, and I'm like, just glued oh my gosh, to the. I think that's our first store purchase. What is? Oh, that? Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Rob. But yeah, just see, seeing the lives on the boat, I think, are just amazing. Oh my god, I need another drink. I, I would <laughs> love to do one every freaking day. Just that so is awesome. It, it, it's not to get to watch hours. It's not to get to the exposure. Mm -hmm. But I know a lot of people like yourself are cruisers, you know? So just to be able to sit at the house and go, oh, that looks so pretty. You know what I mean? And just to live vicariously through somebody else. I, I love to do one every day. Well, so here's the thing. We love cruising too. But, and I don't want it to be so much of an obligation that you don't enjoy the trip. Yeah, but right. life's fun. You're just BS. No, I'm just saying like, I. this is where <laughs> like, if we do it, usually it's a pop-up. I don't, I, I don't want it to it be, won't be a schedule. A schedule. Live. Yeah, like I, I want it to be like, cause you know what? Maybe I'm in the casino winning and I don't want to go live. So like, I don't know. <laughs> what are you not? What are we not? I said winning, winning. No, um, no. Well, actually for me, I do a live stream for on, on sail away. And then I do a live stream when we're leaving each port and people love it. I, I noticed that people like, um, to see that when you're leaving the port, they like to see the area, especially those that never been to those to those areas. Um, it kind of gives them like a, a, a perspective of what to expect. So it's really cool to do stuff like that. They they wanted to know if you have um, do you have hot cups? Yes. Yeah, there should be a mug, yeah, a coffee it, mug. It, it's an insulated mug, so it actually does both. No, there's a tumbler and then there's a regular coffee oh, yeah. mug. Sorry. Okay. But if you bought one, Harlan, my gosh. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm with you. I, I, I can't remember the channel off the top of my head, but they did a how to drive around the port to get to your parking garage. And that was tremendously helpful. She's looking at me. She watched it. She don't remember either. But you know, like, if you've been to Port of Miami, you know there's like 68 different things. You got to go through mm -hmm. – this one and that one to get to it. What's the parking garage that's the best? And now we actually park in the end parking lot because of that video. And I can't remember who the hell it was. Really? Yeah. I'm also talking about that. the um, um garage, garage G. I think is it the, is it the G it's garage? Like F. It's it's garage. It's the last one by, by yeah. Virgin by um, Virgin Voyages, right? Yes, yes. I, I am it's a bird brain. Life TV. How do you not know that? Because I simply said I don't remember who the hell it was. I am a bird brain. I'm Polish. Come on, Kowalski. Oh, they even said it. That was us. <laughs> that's one of their. That's one of their like videos with the highest number of views. Mm. Oh, he's saying it's oh, in there. Now I remember. Actually, Sorry, you said that. It is. <laughs> uh, where do we have our products? If you go to our YouTube channel and click on a video, the store should show up. It's called Spread Shop. Uh, it'll spread it'll, shop, it'll yeah. link it to it. 
Well, there you guys have it. That's where you will find all the um, all their merch. So we're gonna have to go over there, get me some CCA merch too to um, uh, to be part of the of the CCA <laughs> addicts. Of course, we gotta we gotta represent. I have to I have to like I have to get one from um, what is it cruising with keys because he's my partner oh, in, um, yep. sure. I mean yeah and I have to get one from you guys that way we you know we represent so that way I have something different to wear <laughs> yeah Liz has her pink well this is our pink one but we got pink because coach Cruz has pink uh, shirts and she absolutely okay. loves it so we had to get the pink coach Cruz ones yeah oh, he says is- um says don't forget to tag your products I don't know how to tag a product so what does that mean? Keith? Can you let them know how to tag it? Yeah, you've been doing this longer than we have, bro. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want, send them a, a message, um, private message, and give them all the details, whichever yep. one is easier for you. Yep, we have a Facebook page. I one thing I actually <laughs> we're friends with Keith on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. We're good. You know Keith. Yeah. So <laughs> I love the uh, let me see. I love the fact of oh my god! Port, one moment you see the ships, and once I know, in that I've always tried to figure that out. How the heck you go in with the ships on one side, and then you end up with the ships on this side? That, that is that, just crazy. Yeah, that, that <laughs> tunnel is absolutely amazing. Absolutely, yeah. you don't amazing. see a spot for a. I, come on. All right, she'll message you. Isn't home. there a shopping tab under our page? I don't. You. I default to you. This is. <laughs> No, I mean, it's just a face. It's there. It's there. Uh, well, now she's clicking around. I don't know. I, I, yeah, she's over there clicking away fastly. <laughs> <laughs> you can put in the link here. Um, oh, oh, hit store. It hit store, Harlan. Oh, okay. okay. Go to our page, hit store. It says home, video, shorts, live, playlist, community. Store, not shopping. And store, okay. Store. It's a YouTube studio on a computer. Okay. No, I mean, I, I have a YouTube studio on the computer. Anyway, we don't need to, like... Yeah, we're not promoting on. ourselves. We're just here. No, that, that's what we're here for. And we're here See, for you guys. Somebody just said it's a fun show. Yeah. That's what we that's like that. seeing. Emily, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. <laughs> oh, my God. We over, I'm, we're over here just chit-chatting, and it's like an hour and six minutes later down the road. Hey, Sky Rose Nest. Welcome in. How are What's you? What's up, Randy? <laughs> hello, hello. Randy Welcome into the show. So, um, let me see. Uh, we are in Fort Myers, Florida. So, if you Google Hurricane Ian destroyed the whole city, <laughs> that's us. <laughs> okay, so Cruising with Kiss is going to send you a picture. Okay. He's okay. gonna get with you guys. So, guys, thank you so much for coming in today. Um, thank you guys for for um, accepting my invitation to come on the thank channel. You for having I us. know it's not gonna be the last time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we really appreciate it. No, not a problem. I know it's not gonna be the last time. Oh, no, um, whenever not. you guys uh, want to come back, just shoot me a message, and you know we'll get you right back on here. Um, I feel very. Um, I said I, I'm. My heart is full because you guys accepted the invitation. So I was very happy to have you guys here. And I just wanted to, you know, express the love that we have for each of each of, of our creators um, in YouTube. So this is a good opportunity to bring, you know, um, people out so everybody can get to know them. And, yeah. you know, we share this space. I'm one that I love to share my space with anybody that's willing to come in. So if you would like to be part of the Traveling with Tinkerbell and do this kind of setting and a show, just message me at um, Traveling with Tinkerbell or at Tinker, Tinkerbell on Facebook. You can find me there as well. Um, I do have TikTok, um, Instagram, Facebook, and they're all Traveling with Tinkerbell. Made it very easy for everybody to find me. So thank you so much for being here today. I love you all, guys. Thank you so much for coming. I love you guys all to the moon and back. We, we and like I said in every yeah. show... <laughs> Like I said on every show, toodles. 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 (laughs) Bye, guys. I see you guys on the next one. Actually, I forgot real quick. Tomorrow, we're coming from across the way from the port of um, Barbados. So come back tomorrow at 8 p.m. We're going to be with Cruising with Keith and Alice Lugo Studios. We're going to transport ourselves. Tomorrow, I'll be in Barbados. So we'll be in Barbados tomorrow. Nice. I was like, fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. So love you guys. Love you, dude. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Have a great evening.
You too. Take care. <laughs>